Hi everyone, today's session is all about recognising moods. Previously, we talked about how our mind can be like a puppy. <laughs> In what way can our minds be like a puppy? Puppies have a range of emotions, just like us. Take a look at these pictures. Can you tell what mood each puppy is in? Teacher, could you get the children into groups of three or four? I'd like you all to discuss what mood each puppy is in, and then you're going to feed back as a group to the class. So, what's the verdict? Everybody call out. What mood is this puppy in? Interesting. Okay. Did everybody think the same thing or were some opinions different? And what about this one? Okay. And this one? Okay, we can't actually ask a dog, can we? But if we had a new friend and we were learning about their personality, we could check to see if our mood guess was correct. That's the great thing about people. We are all so different and learning about each other is always fun and interesting. Us humans go through lots of different moods every day, sometimes quickly and sometimes slowly. What kind of moods can you recognise in these people and how do you know? Work in your groups again to discuss. Oh! I could hear some very interesting ideas here. Would anyone like to share? Describe what mood you think this person is experiencing and how do you know? Is it just from the expression on their face? What about their body language? Is that telling us anything? Sometimes we think we know what someone else is feeling, but we are actually guessing. Sometimes mood states can be very difficult to identify. Some of you might have labelled very different moods to the same image. It's very helpful to be aware that our assumptions, what we guess of somebody else's behaviour, might not always be 100% correct. What about our own moods? Do you think we are always aware of what mood we are in? The best way to connect with our own moods and the emotions that are affecting our moods is to check in with ourselves. We can do this really simply by connecting with our breath. Let's do a short practice together now. This one is called Mind Body Feels. Let's begin by bringing ourselves into a big bubble. <laughs> Close your eyes and imagine the bubble surrounding you. It's only you in this moment. Sitting nice and tall, straight back in your chair, just bring your awareness to how your body feels against the chair. Any pressure, any heat. And now bring your attention to your feet on the floor placing them flat on the floor. Maybe you can feel the weight of your legs or pressure on the soles of your feet. Maybe there's heat or tingling there. Take three slow, mindful breaths. Let's do it together. Now just take a moment to connect with how your body feels. 
Maybe it's feeling tense, or maybe it's really relaxed. Maybe it feels heavy, or maybe it feels really light. Maybe it feels full, or maybe it feels empty. Just choose one word to describe how your body feels right now. Just connect with that one word. And now, just ask yourself the question, how does my mind feel? Tune in to how your mind is feeling in this moment. Maybe it's jumping all over the place from one thought to another, a bit jumpy. Or maybe it's really calm and clear and feels really at peace. Just choose one word that describes how your mind feels right now. Maybe it feels a bit slow or a bit sleepy. Or maybe it feels excited. <laughs> now take one big, deep, mindful breath. Breathing all the way in so your chest gets super inflated. And let it go with a big... Uh. <laughs> well done, everyone. Really great noticing. I'd like you to open your journals and to finish these two sentences. My mind feels... My body feels, use the words from our mind-body practice. There's no right or wrong here. Teacher, over to you, just a few minutes. This is a really great way to check in with yourself, to check how you're feeling today. It can be difficult to identify how we feel sometimes. You might like to try this again later today or tomorrow. If you do, then be sure to write the same sentences out again. My mind feels. My body feels. I wonder if you'll feel the same or maybe you'll feel different. Well done, everyone. You are on the right track to understanding yourselves at a deeper level, identifying your own moods and paying attention to what events and emotions have caused those moods. Also, listening out for negative self-talk and trying to reframe with positive self-talk. <laughs> Those superpowers are growing! Wow. <laughs> this might seem like quite an effort to grasp, but you are all doing such a great job. I can't wait to share more with you. Bye for now. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye! <laughs> One Mind. Creating happier, healthier classrooms.